you had your wish come true, you would retire tomorrow. Unfortunately, that's not a possibility. So, let's give you some do's and don'ts about retiring early. Mike Hogan here from Bank of Hawaii with some information on That Smart Money Monday. Thanks, Mike, for coming in. Thank you. Okay, so what do we do? We, we want to retire as early as possible, so how do we get ourselves on that track? Well, the first thing, Steve, is to get started. Whether it's through an employer-sponsored plan or an individual retirement account, often referred to as IRA, both provide immediate tax savings, tax-deferred growth, and in some cases, in an employer-sponsored plan, a company match. Mm -hmm. so, so company match, talking about 401k. Mm -hmm. now, 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 if we start contributing, what's a good amount? What should we be thinking, ballpark? Well, the most important thing, Steve, is to get started, mm -hmm. whether it's a flat dollar amount or a percentage of your monthly pay. And every year, give yourself a raise, increase that. The target is 10% or greater over time. And if there is a company match, maximize that match. Mm -hmm. Whatever the company's putting in for you, maximize that, because that's free money. That's right. And because it compiles, I would imagine it's, it's better to start earlier than later, right? Absolutely, okay. Steve. The earlier you start, the better. Money compounds over time. So if you can start earlier, you give your chance, you give yourself the opportunity to accumulate better wealth. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they come to you and they ask you, do you want more aggressive stuff? Do you want safer stuff? How do you know, how do you gauge what type of stocks or, or what kind of investments you want to go into? Where's that, there's that old adage, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Most retirement plans provide you a list of mutual funds or, from, or some asset allocation models. And most retirement plans also allow you the opportunity to rebalance those annually. So it's always good to select a well-diversified portfolio. Okay, so these are all the do's. What's all the bad stuff? What's all the don'ts? What do we stay away from? Well, the two most common don'ts I would say would be when the market does decline is to stop contributing. That's actually a good time if you can to increase your contributions because the share price of those mutual funds are cheaper. So if you can buy them cheaper, then you have the opportunity to have them grow greater over time. Okay, any last minute tips? What else should we know? Well, I think the second don't is a term often used as market timing. Mm -hmm. That's a big don't. Most retirement plans allow you the opportunity to do it through payroll deduction. So through uh, dollar cost averaging, you have the ability to buy into the market over time rather than trying to time the market because nobody has a crystal ball to predict when the market's going to be up or down. That's good. By the way, Bank of Hawaii has a series of seminars throughout the year on this topic because we're all thinking about retirement and we're all wishing again that it was tomorrow but unfortunately it's not going to happen <laughs> all the information about this is going to be on our website hawaiinewsnow.com mike thanks for coming in thank you steve appreciate it you guys stick around for more you watch